it's uh, John Reed, JWD.com. I'm with uh, Jan Penikoff. How's it going with Focus? Doing well. Doing well. Doing some inno jamming. We pulled you aside for a few <laughs> yeah. minutes. Uh, rubbing, you're in, rubbing the sleep out of my eyes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're an early uh, Netweaver Cloud adopter, evidently, with a t shirt to prove I got it. the shirt. Yeah. You got the shirt. But actually, we're here to really talk about why you actually even looked at cloud in the first place. Tell us about your company and your industry and what made you start thinking about cloud as a delivery model. Yeah. Well, we've, um, we've been in healthcare and we've seen a great demand in terms of um, uh, bringing IT systems to, to eventually to patients as well. So we've seen a demand from patients that they would like to make appointments through the internet, uh, see their files, it's, a, it's something called e-health, and a lot of uh, doctors would like a patient to fill out forms before they come for the consult as well. And we've built solutions for that, and be, be, because these are self-service solutions that a customer is uh, able to, or a patient actually is able to, to fill out from their own internet premise, of internet location, from their own homes, uh, we thought it would be convenient to have that uh, running in the cloud instead of in, a, in an on-premise situation uh, so that you don't have to open up your internet infrastructure and network and firewalls and DMZs and that, that sort of things. Yeah. And when I think self-service in the cloud, I can start to see a business case, but then I think about medical data and security. Were you talking with your customers about that? What do they say? Would they use the cloud? How do you solve that? Well, our customers were very protective of, over their data. Uh, they would like to keep it under their desk if possible. <laughs> yeah. So it, most of the time it's actually in the data center that helps. Um, but they would definitely not like to see their data in the cloud, especially if you look at the news at the moment where right. so much data is leaking into the public domain. Um, so what we have decided is that we have also not, uh, we, that, that in our solutions we're also not going to keep the data on in the cloud itself. Um, by Dutch regulations, it's not even allowed to do that uh, because you have to keep patient information right. within the country. It's not even going. It's not even allowed to bring to Waldorf or America, if you like. Um, so we're using the cloud connector to connect to on-premise systems and bring the data um, basically on demand to the to the patient. So tell us about Netweaver Cloud. Is this is this platform really ready to build apps? I mean. Uh, mostly I've seen people kind of using it in jamming environments like InnoJam. Right. Did you build apps on it? Well, yeah, it's generally available and it's using a pretty good web server as well called Virgo. Yeah. Uh, it's under development for quite some time and SAP have done, done a lot of contribution to the, to the web server itself as well. And I think it's quite stable. I've not seen any issues. So tell us what you built. Um, we've built three solutions so far. Uh, a solution to make appointments online for patients to go into a website uh, from their home location and to make their appointments with the doctor of their choice. Uh, that's been done in Holland very often. Uh, you don't go to, uh, to, to a hospital only if you are basically taken in, um, but also for consultation of doctors there. Uh, we've built a, a solution that allows the IT department of hospitals to click um, forms together very quickly uh, so that a for instance, intake forms can be produced and being sent to customers or to patients uh, for them to fill, fill in from the home location so that the doctor and the patient are prepared when they have their consult. And a third solution would be the solution to um, look into your medical records. So you're basically ready to take these out to market now to customers. Yeah, that's that's right. the next step. Yeah. Actually, a few of these solutions have already been in, the, in place for about five years. Mm -hmm. And we've chosen, because these are self-service self solutions, we have chosen to migrate these to the cloud as well. So to give the customer the choice whether he would like to run the application on-premise or in the cloud. Now when I think about SAP shops like yours, I think about a lot of ABBA programmers. Mm -hmm. So how do you deal with Java? Yeah, well we've always been looking at cutting edge innovation in terms of um, a user expectancy. Uh, we've been looking into you know, external facing applications as well. So we've not been looking at ABBA for that. <laughs> um, but for instance, Java, JavaScript, uh, Flash has been around as well. Um, so we, we're familiar with programming languages. So the, the, the change to UI5 and to uh, the cloud portal as well as Java wasn't so big. So you're basically telling me that it's part of your company culture that you kind of push your ABBA folks to think about a bigger world and and to program in different languages, you encourage that right. as a company? That's right, yeah. We're trying to pick the solutions that make eventually our end users or patients in this, in this sense uh, to make them happy. It's about the customer. That's well, right. That's, that's revolutionary. Yeah. So, so look ahead a couple years, bold prediction time. 
a couple years from now, how many uh, customers do you hope are running on your <laughs> on your NetWeaver cloud apps? Well, what would be a best case scenario? We've been focusing on Holland, but it's, uh, yeah. it's getting very tempting to bring these solutions uh, into a worldwide perspective as well. Yeah. So who knows? Thinking hundreds, maybe? <laughs> oh. Maybe more? <laughs> we'll see. Hopefully more. All right. Well, <laughs> maybe we'll ask you next year. Thanks All a lot right. for